there's a lot of um, high expectation for somebody who's got autism to actually conform to society's rules. What's it like to grow up in a world that views you differently? How do you really become an adult when everyone treats you like a child? People like me don't understand what's real and what's not real. But I still see him as a little four-year-old. I don't think and operate like everyone else. I just go with the flow. I follow the lives of three autistic young men as they negotiate the everyday struggles of growing up. I can see you. Looking for love. He's using the eyes of the beholder and I'm the beholder. Desperate for work. Get me a job. And longing for independence. Get that out of my face then. Is it? <laughs> it's because I'm autistic. <laughs> this is Tom. He's 15. He lives in Kent with his mum, dad, four brothers, a sister, a dog and two cats. In many ways, Tom is like any other teenager. Tom, are you having a shower this morning? In the mornings, it's terrible. You wake up to, it's like a war zone. Hurry up then, don't leave it too long. But there's one thing that makes Tom different. Do you exactly know what autism is? Um, yeah, sort of. Just like, um, I can't do certain things. Um, and uh, I'm different to other people. And uh, like there's parts of your brain that um, can't work or something. He's got a problem with his brain and it's trouble for him to learn stuff. And he doesn't learn stuff as quick as us. When I'm with other people, I just can't laugh for some reason or like shout. But does that bother you? Sometimes. Autism is a developmental condition which affects one in every hundred people born. People with autism view the world as a strange and often confusing place. They have trouble communicating and interacting in the same way as everyone else. I would like to be more confident around people and things like that. Thomas isn't like other teenagers because of his level of maturity. I have tried to do something to make her, um, just to make her see that I've grown up a bit and stuff. But she just never would trust me. That's one of the reasons I don't let him go out with other people because I do feel he would be taken advantage of. Tom attended a mainstream school up until the age of 14. He was then placed in a specialist school 15 miles away. I've changed quite a bit um, since I moved school last year. All the people from my old school don't like me very much for some reason. Because I'm not a very popular person. Did you like it at your new school better? Yeah, a bit. Because you don't get like people um, like calling you tramp and stuff like that. And like, um, just going to try and trip you up and stuff. Have so people bullied you? Horrible. He wants to be like all the other kids out there doing what they're doing. He wants a girlfriend and he wants um, a group of friends around him and he wants independence as well. You know, it's a real shame because he's been denied a life that he wants. Tom's older brother James is throwing a party in the back garden to celebrate his 19th birthday. Tom's autism can make social situations daunting. I'm a little bit nervous that um, my brother might um, just make up a load of stuff and make people laugh at me. I just want him to think I was just normal. Be the same as everyone else, like joining and like, just have friends and stuff. When I'm in the car and I can see a group of people playing football and all on bikes and just having fun together. And I've never actually done that with people. I 
I like to drink. When I'm drunk, I feel confident and not so shy. Yeah. Chat to any girls yet? Yeah? No. Oh, yeah. I always knew Tom at school. Tom was, he was well shy at school. I never ever heard Tom speak at all in school. Ever. The, the whole, you know, four years that I knew him. And I never heard you talk at all. Good to hear him talk finally after four years. How'd you find school? Uh, yeah. It's a bit better. He's a good lad at the end of the day, even if he didn't talk. You look exactly like James. Cool. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> you can tell they're brothers. Huh? Need to Oh, Colin. Don't. Autism has a wide spectrum and individuals can often show a keen interest or high level of ability in other areas of their lives. For 23-year-old Ollie, it's drums and history. So, Henry V, when, when was he born? Okay. He was born in 1389, England, son of Henry Bonnebrook, who was Henry IV, who is usurped the throne from Richard II. Ollie has high-functioning autism. People like him can show an impressive knowledge in their favourite subjects, masking the true depth of their disability. <sighs> See myself as a bit of a wolf, <laughs> for some reason. Oh. Wolves. I find wolves a very masculine animal, and uh, being what I am. <laughs> Regardless of his abilities and knowledge, Ollie has spent the last four years trying to get his first paid job. As soon as I left school, I was very belligerent almost about actually getting a job, any job at so, all. Um, well, I was very eager to. Um, have routine. We know that Oliver and other young people like him absolutely need routine and they need structure. My criminal mugshot, I've seen this man. <laughs> Finally, last year, aged 22, Ollie found temporary work with help from the National Autistic Society. Now listen, we're going to cross over. He has a temporary contract stamping books at the British Library. Bye. Right, find it's a bit rock and tuck. <laughs> Get the old. <laughs> but this commute will be one of Ollie's last, as his temporary contract is up at the end of the week. After that, he's out of work. This is actually the fishing last week. The thing that I will miss is the camaraderie of the workforce. I've missed the uh, companionship with some of the guys now. Because I'm, I'm quite a loud sort of person in the office, to me it's a matter of pride. I start my attitude almost like samurai. Like Ollie, many people with autism lead their lives around routine and repetition, without which life can seem chaotic. To Ollie, this job was more than just a place to work. This is where I work. I work on this side of the British Library, but I go in gate eight. I'm now back getting my work pass out. Are you sad? Yeah. <laughs> 